What happens with these lawsuits is that uh, the debt collectors usually find that the consumers do not defend the lawsuits. I would say, in my experience, that happens probably 98, 99 percent of the time. And they end up getting or obtaining a default judgment against the consumer. Now, that doesn't mean that if it's discovered later that the debt collector did engage in deceptive practices that they can't be sued even though there's a judgment against the consumer. The problem is with the FDCPA at this point is that there is only a one-year statute of limitations that the consumer has uh, in order to sue the debt collector. So if the lawsuit is filed on January 2nd of 2009 and it's served on January 4th of 2009, the consumer has one year to file their claim against the debt collector. In some jurisdictions, some of the courts have actually interpreted the statute to mean that the statute of limitation runs from when the lawsuit was actually filed. Others have interpreted uh, as the statute of limitations as running from the day that the consumer got notice, which is by service of the lawsuit. So to be cautious and err on the side of caution, you would want to file your FDCPA lawsuit uh, before the actual state court lawsuit, you know, within one year of when the state court lawsuit was filed against the consumer, just to be uh, on the safe side there.